Okay, so I redressed her in the color reveal, like some of the color reveal pieces, and honestly, I'm not even mad at it. Like, ew, do I not hate this? Oh, f I'm one of those doll YouTube channels now. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a new episode of What the Shit, Lana. The doll we're unboxing today may be considered a little controversial, because I know how people feel about the color reveal Barbies. And since they won Doll of the Year for 2021, I figured I would give them a try, and I've been watching her on Instagram for a while, and I knew she was the one I wanted, is the color reveal peel mermaid fashion reveal she has peel away to reveal we've got the mermaid reveal 25 surprises one doll one pet two complete looks sparkle slime wearable surprise and color changes doll sold separately subject to availability water toys sometimes get messy protect play surfaces before you stream rinse clean and dry all items thoroughly before storing slime may stain fabrics and other surfaces avoid contact with carpet clothing walls and furniture if staining occurs Rinse with soap, not included in Walmart. So this is pretty huge. This did retail for $29.99 on Amazon.com. It has these little perforated pouches on the front that you can't really see because my f***ing ring light. So I'm really a big fan of like the recent Barbie packaging illustrations and everything. And you can see my girl on the back, the mermaid is like the main picture, but also the unicorn kind of looks really cute. So I might get that if I end up liking these. Well, why don't we get this bitch unboxed? So we got the plastic off and the backing. Pretty easy to unbox. Um, she was basically just like a fashionista to unbox, just in a bigger box. We have to open up all of our little surprises and they are our little perforated envelopes. So let's do that. Okay, so we have 14 bags, one mummified bitch, and full color instructions, except on the back, semi-colored instructions. So according to the instructions, the first thing we do is we take the doll out of her packaging. So we're gonna follow the rules as much as possible. You guys can see those instructions. So A is take the doll out of the bag. So I'm not seeing a perforated edge on this bag, so I will just, oh, nope, super easy. And then somebody told me in the video where Adam and I un did all of those color reveal mermaids that um, the plastic they use is actually recyclable, is actually recyclable plastic. So because she doesn't have a wig, you don't really get much of a reveal for the face, but that's fine because she's on front of the packaging. So why would I nitpick that? Never mind. She has little fish scale tattoos, a little unibrow makeup. Her eyes are looking off to the side a little bit. She has brown eyes, blue and pink streaks in her kind of like sandy brown blondish hair. She is covered in purple paint. She has like a medium into skin tone. I don't know if you guys can hear. Let's turn off that ring light. That's her little makeup, her off to the side stare. And she has no pixel face, guys. It's not pixel face at all, actually. <clears throat> like, I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, no pixel face. Instructions number two are to peel off her paint? What? No. She's a color reveal doll, right? Like we dip her in water? What? It's saying to like peel off her paint. Why would I do that? Oh, is that the peeling thing? So she's not like a water color reveal? It's telling me to peel this off. And as we saw in the packaging, it does say color reveal peel. Yeah, okay. We don't use water to take off her thing. So that's like her whole gimmick, I guess, is we just peel off her clothes. So let's do that. Maybe that'll be super satisfying. Like I said, I was gonna follow the instructions. <gasps> Ooh, okay, that is satisfying. Like, you guys can see? So it's it 
reminds me of when we were in grade school and we would take glue and put it on our hands and let it dry and then we'd peel it off like it was our skin or something. That's what this is like. Okay, so I'm actually really into that. Hold on. It's like she got like a purple sunburn or something and we're just peeling her skin off. Like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'll be back. So it's the peel for me. That was actually really satisfying. Yeah, just like a nice clean peel. I don't have to get water everywhere. I'm not dunking her in water. I love that. The back of her head mold says 2015 Mattel. I don't know what face mold that is. You guys can let me know. So underneath the purple peeling porn, ugh, so good. The triple P, I don't DP, I triple P. <laughs> She's got like embedded glitter in her legs and they feel really cool. It is all painted on details. Like her legs are permanently this color. And then her body swimsuit is painted on as well. And she has like the basic um, fashionista articulation where she can move at the head side to side, up and down. Her arms can go out, back in, forward and backwards. And then her legs can kind of spread a little bit back, forward, and backward. So the next step is opening up all the surprises. So we have her big surprise. Oh, okay. So it's like a heart locket with a mirror. And this is some of the slime it was talking about. So we'll deal with that later. Graveyard of peeled off skin. Um, I love that. Oh, a packet full of glitter. They are in the shape of little iridescent hearts. Ooh, very mermaidy right there, actually. That looks like mermaid scales. Love that. Oh, okay. So her first clothing piece is this little, like, kind of see-through pink cardigan, like arm wrap or something. Super cute. Oh. Then this is a pink see-through seashell necklace, kind of like the ones we've been seeing on the Merman Ken lately. Then her other clothing piece item, it is held together with Velcro. The pattern goes all the way around. And it is a little clamshell seashell skirt. <gasps> and then we have the same color reveal mermaid brush we got with the clamshells, pearls, sea stars, and everything in a glittery pink iridescent material. <gasps> then she comes with this like crystal tiara. Love that. Which on me is just like a ring. Ooh. <laughs> okay. There's the mermaid tail. I was wondering when we were gonna get to that. So it is Velcroed in the back. The pattern continues all the way around and then it just kind of has a ruffle. So it's like a Halloween costume almost where if you were a mermaid for Halloween, it would be like this. And I think it's cute for what it is. I bet you could fit like a slim Ken in here too. So we're gonna play around with that. Okay, and then something every mermaid needs, um, a pair of <laughs> metallic hiking boots. All right, here is her Colorville pet like ew and the scrunchie for the pet I guess or is it just a scrunchie for the Barbie and they just put it in the same pouch I don't know oh okay so this must be a chain for this locket or something <laughs> that is not correct oh the sponge that we use to apply warm and cold water blue sunglasses that are kind of see-through and a little purple scrunchy bracelet. Another tiara, but this time it's like solid metallic-y colors. So now I get two rings. And then it comes with a mini locket and a picture of the Barbie's Color Reveals pet. So we'll put that inside of the locket. And it looks like this is your locket for you and this is Barbie's locket for her. Yeah, and then you put the picture of the pet in there. That's cute, okay. So those are all of the surprises we get with the doll unboxed. So the next steps involve cold and hot water, so I'm gonna go grab those. Okay, so now we have some warm and ice cold water. Let's do the cold water shit first. So apparently her hair and face change, so let's do that. 
So as you can see, before cold water, after cold water, oh, okay, so it just kind of saturates the color a little bit more. Interesting. <laughs> just kidding. We already knew that was the gimmick, right? And then it did kind of make like the hair colors a little bit more vibrant. But this is also stuff you see when it's like not in any kind of temperature mode at the same time. So it's really interesting that it's like a gimmick when you can kind of already see like what it's doing. Oh girl, $30. Oh, I didn't need to get warm water. It just gets rid of what we already were just doing. Okay, I'm gonna dampen my cold sponge again. And then apparently her bodysuit does something. So let's see. Did anything change? Wait, what changed? Look at it now. Put some warm water on it. Yeah, like nothing changed. What the f Okay, so that was a lie. So the next step is to dress her up. So we'll put her in a little fashion show. Well, I think the whole reason I bought her is for the mermaid outfit. So you see, you can see her little green feet kind of sticking out of the bottom there. Cause like I said, it's a little more like Halloween costumey, just like the unicorn girl and the fairy girl in this collection are supposed to be. It kind of reminds me of like a really watered down, no pun intended, version of like the Mycene Masquerade Madness dolls where it's like they're wearing Halloween costumes or something. So, and, oh, and I can like pull it down a little bit more and then it covers her feet. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Then I did put on her crystal tiara. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Okay, let's put her in her other outfit. And here is her more butch looking with the hiking boots and the leggings mermaid outfit. So the skirt and the little back coat, they're actually really cute. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was a little worried being like color reveal clothing that they'd feel kind of cheapy like fashionista clothing. And this is like good like stretchy, high, like better quality material. The edges are a little frayed on the ruffle and everything, but like they're nice and they're printed and like it goes all the way around, but it's not like that cheapy printing, you know? And same with like the mermaid tail, it's like that's embedded in the fabric and everything. And I know it looks a little cheese ball, but it feel, it's like heavy, it feels good, which I just, that wasn't, it was a nice surprise because I know we all kind of go in like ready to hate color reveal Barbies and everything. But like, now is this the most fashionable thing? No, she looks like a Disney Channel original movie girl who's like works for the school newspaper or something and is some nerd who's going to fall in love with one of the popular boys. But that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to put on all of her dumb little accessories. Just remember how this outfit was and I'll be right back with accessories. So I did come out her hair a little bit and it is not bad, especially after the last time I dealt with color reveal hair. Like it brushes out pretty nice. It's got a nice soft wave. There are no bald spots really. Like that's, this is really, um, I don't want to say impressed because I don't ever want it to go on record that I was impressed by a color reveal doll. But this is so much better than my last experience with the color reveal doll. Like while I am paying twice as much for this singular doll than I was for like one mermaid, two times the price, like probably four times the quality, if that makes sense, you know? Like in comparison, like it's still a color reveal doll. It's still like basically a fashionista, but like, and I'm not defending the price point at all but I am saying I did pay more and I got more. So take that as you will. Then she's holding her little locket um, and then her little scrunchie bracelet. And then her actual scrunchie, I just put on as a bracelet because her hair is so thick. I couldn't fit the scrunchie around it. But if you could finesse it if you wanted to, I'm just not, I'm too lazy. So next we peel the kitty. It is a mer kitty. Oh my god, I hate pets. Okay, I may hate pets, but this like peeling off its skin is like giving me some kind of sweet relief. And this is like Barbie pets, like actual pets in real life. I love like I love cats, but I am allergic. 
And my mom has some big dumbass Great Dane who is just the biggest sweetheart, but he's still like a puppy, but he's huge. And so he's just really annoying to deal with, but he's the coolest dog. And then we had a Pomeranian growing up who um, I loved. He was the biggest little sweetheart. And then a Husky and all sorts of stuff. So while I talk a lot of shit on pets on this channel, understand that it is doll pets, not actual living animals. Yes, tear off the kitty's face. Like, ew, gross, I love it. She has a golden bronzy kind of metallic tail to match the boots and the crown and everything. And then pink fur and then little tiny face stuff. And then she too also has like heat gimmick, but instead of like using the sponge, I'm just gonna dip her in the water. Ah, yeah. I mean, you could already see her little face tattoos before, right around her eyeballs, but now they're really showing up, so. Okay, cute. I don't hate it, but I hate it. Apparently, I'm supposed to take the Pretty Mermaid scales and dump them in here and then dump the slime in the little reservoir. But these are so pretty and I wanna save them for something else. So I'm sure you guys won't be upset if I don't use these, but we will open up the slime. It comes in this little like pudding cup container or like, um, what are those things that are really bad for the environment and everybody uses them all the time? Keurigs, like one of those. Ooh, look at that jiggle, bitch. Can you hear that? Ew! Like, ugh. ew, it's like a giant green or blue glittery booger. Oh, okay. So that's where it went. I was gonna bitch because one of the charms for the, um, I guess this is a charm bracelet and it can't fit around, you know, my 30 year old man wrist. But I was like, one of the charms is missing and it's inside of the slime. That makes sense. Cause in the directions, it is not very clear. Oh, it's cute. It's like a starfish with like a lot of printed on details. They even did like the good little details in the back and everything. Should I do it like beauty YouTuber style? Like, you just clip it onto the bracelet, like, like so, like there's little kinks in the chain and then you can just pop them through. Oh, that's cute. Oh my God, do I not hate this? Ew. So there's the charm bracelet with the charms on it. And I'm sure you could add like your own personal charms if you wanted. And then there is the slime, which just goes inside this heart. Inside of the heart, there is a little mirror. Hi. It's one of those foil mirrors, so you're a little warped in it. But then you can preserve your little jiggly slime. Ooh, I like that. Actually, I like that. That's cute. Oh my God. Oh my God, do I like this? Oh, okay. I guess that's everything on the instructions, kids. Okay, so shit, we learned a lot today. Um, coming to the scary realization that I actually like these and I kind of want the unicorn one now. Um, I don't hate this. This is not the best thing in the world. This is a, this right here is a $30 fashionista that comes with some accessories and stuff and pretty decent like rooted hair. It's a little dry but I have felt way worse Barbie hair on more expensive Barbies. Um, she's cute. She comes with a shit ton of accessories. I like the mermaid theme. She's got dressability, poseability, playability, etc. It's very limited, but it's here. Now, am I saying the color reveal Barbies should have won the 2021 Doll of the Year award? Uh, no, but I like this mermaid theme, in fact. Okay, so it's saying there's 25 surprises and I counted 20. 21 if you include the sticker of the pet that you put in the locket. This is nuts, I don't hate her. I think the price is um, a lot for Barbie. But at the same time, like, is it though, because we keep having this conversation in the doll world where it's like inflation and cost of goods and everything. And yeah, Rainbow High is doing okay right now, but series three, they have like a lot of stuff like skyrocketing in price, like the dolls are staying the same, but then they have these winter dolls that are going up in price. And I mean, somebody, one of my friends 
who's the doll collector, was saying that Barbie and Mattel, they're in it for the long game. Like, they've had ebbs and flows in quality throughout the years. They dip, they come back. Like, it happens. Things cost more. My problem is with Barbie, if they're going to charge us like $30, make sure they're charging us for a $30 doll, not a $20 doll or a $15 doll and stuff like that. But one thing I've noticed is MGA does eventually start to dip in their quality. I've been watching some of these, um, the new LOL OMG dolls, like the dance ones or whatever, and they kind of cut back on them. They have like weirdly, like weird cheaper hair. And I don't know if it was just to like achieve that hairstyle. Maybe they all don't have it. And then they kind of cut back on some of the articulation. So we're already seeing MGA cut corners. And now those dolls are like four-ish, five-ish dollars more than they used to be. So like if MGA was doing this for like 60 years, they'd be pulling the same shit Mattel is. Like, you know, but we've seen what Barbie can do. And MGA is doing that right now. And they've never had a line last. Like, I think Bratz is probably like their longest line that's ever last. And it's coming back later this year. But like, they don't, they don't have the longevity that like Barbie does. Like, Barbie's longest running line to like my understanding was like the Barbie fashion model collection dolls because those lasted for like two decades. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know what her longest lasting run was. But like MGA has never made a doll line that's lasted 20 years, you know? Um, and they're not like a brand new company. I think MGA started in like... 1979 i could be wrong if i'm wrong i'll throw up a shot here but i think that's when mga started i don't know when they started making dolls but like anyway what i'm trying to say is i don't hate this um i think she's cute and maybe it's because i like mermaids so much or whatever i don't hate this color reveal barbie ew i can't believe i'm putting that on film but she's cute she has no pixel face she has good rooting good hair her costume quality and stuff while well, it's not like this glam couture runway fashion it is thick and heavy well seamed and everything like the only place i saw raw edges was like on the bottom of the skirt that's it like they're, they're decent fabrics and because they're mermaid themed i can incorporate these into my other dolls and have them have like a fun mermaid moment and not have painted on green legs. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about her down below. I know color reveals aren't everybody's favorite. I don't hate this, but I think I have my mermaid filter on. Okay, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Can't believe I'm one of those dull YouTube channels now. But you're cute. I don't hate you. Oh, one of your eyes is bigger than the other one, though. Oh, just like me. Okay guys, so I've got her hanging out with all of my other Color of Vil Mermaids from the collab Adam and I did together. And then, this is how the mermaid skirt looks on a regular Ken doll fashionista kind of style body. It does Velcro in the back. He's just a little too tall so his feet do stick out, but he can wear it. 